Hello friends, welcome to my channel Master the Monster. Equations. Do you think equations are pure mathematics? Then you are absolutely wrong. Equations are part of our daily life. We use equations in our daily life. We not only use them, we also need equations to solve many real life problems. Before learning equations in detail, subscribe to my channel so that you will enjoy learning maths. Class 10 CBSE Maths Exercise 3.2 Problem number 6 Given the linear equation 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals 0, write another equation in two variables such that the geometrical representation of the pair so formed is intersecting lines, parallel lines and coincident lines. That is, we are given one equation 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals 0. Now we are going to write the other equation of the pair such that their geometric representation is intersecting lines. Then we are going to write another equation such that the pair of the geometric representation is parallel lines. And then another equation such that they are coincident lines. So this, so this is how we are going to proceed with the problem. Now let us consider the first subdivision intersecting lines. Now, what is the condition for a pair of lines to intersect? It is a1 by a2 not equal b1 by b2, isn't it? And the given line is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals 0. Now, we have to write another equation such that they geometrically represent intersecting lines. So, it is enough if you write another equation such that the ratios are not equal. So, you should be cautious with that alone. So, I can write the other equation as 3x plus 5y minus 2 equals 0. This is one of the equation you can generate many equations like this that's left up to you. So, see, now let me verify whether the ratios are same. See, verification a1 is 2 and a2 is 3. Therefore, the ratio is 2 by 3. b1 is 3, b2 is 5. So, the ratio is 3 by 5 and we see that they are not equal. So, 3x plus 5y minus 2 equals 0 is my first example for the pair to represent an intersecting line, right? Now we'll move on to the second subdivision that is parallel lines. So the condition for parallel lines is that the first two ratios should be equal but it's not equal to the third ratio. Okay. Now given a straight line is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals 0. So now what we are going to do is the first two ratios should be equal. So let me multiply the x coefficient y coefficient by a common number. And you should not do that for constant. Okay. So so that this ratio alone will be equal, the constant will not be equal. So I can say, so here I have multiplied by 3. I have multiplied x coefficient by 3 and y coefficient by 3. But I didn't do that for constant term because their ratio should not be the same. Okay, now verify a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 6, that is 1 by 3. b1 by b2, that is 3 by 9. That is also 1 by 3. So, the first two ratios are same. But see, c by 2, it's minus 8 by minus 2. That's equal to 4. It's automatically not equal. So, this is the next example. So the third subdivision is to write an example for coincident lines. Okay. The condition for coincident lines is that all the three ratios should be equal. And the given equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals 0. Now, all the ratios should be equal. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply this equation throughout by a common number so that all the ratios become equal. So let me multiply by that same 3 just as I did for second uh, subdivision. That's for parallel lines. I'll multiply by 3 throughout. In second subdivision, I didn't do it for constant term. But here, I do it for constant term also. So I get 6x9y minus 24. Now you verify all the ratios are 1 by 3. So this is an example for pair of coincident lines. Hope you all understand problem number 6. Thank you.